Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I've only done Cancer and, and Pisces, and I literally told myself this week I am literally only doing like 10 minute videos. I don't know why. Something was just kind of telling me 10 minute videos. You know, like, I'm just trying to keep it simple. If you hear pitta patter, Sheldon's underneath me. Okay. Um, I'm here to tell you, and I, I've only started with water. Okay. Um, I hope that I can do six and six Monday and Tuesday. The way this energy is, is this energy this week. And I did two Zodiacs is affecting me already giving me like anxiety. Like I can't even explain it. There's no balance. Somebody wants balance. Okay. Um, but it, it's not just that it's going to be different for everybody. There's a group of collective I, I will tell you what I've noticed. I could have sworn last week I said in certain videos is I feel like there's more karmics watching or karmic situations that was real freaking heavy. And now what I'm seeing is like something else is aligning. And between karmic lessons and aligning and accepting change and trying to make decisions because of lack, there's there's a void. That's the perfect example, okay? So, and when there's that void, it's it, this is tough to read. And you know what's ironic? And I told Cancer, and I'm going to tell you because I'm sure it has a lot to do with you too, okay? Because it's, it's everybody, not just water right now. I can already feel it's going to be extremely intense, and it doesn't mean it's a bad thing, okay? When I started the, yesterday, I was obsessed with this this moon I was like and I just I just said oh I want a tattoo I need a tattoo yada yada friend came over so it's it's her tattoo okay so I don't want to steal her idea but she's like take it blah 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 and I was like no because I'm more creative not that she wasn't creative because it's a beautiful tattoo meeting in general like I would definitely um switch it up but I was like captive captive it was just you know it's got the lotus for the third eye the artist did an extremely good job. And I was thinking if I was to do this at all, it'd be a little different dynamic, but you got the moon and the sun, right? But I don't know if I'd keep like, that's a, that's not a half moon. It's just not the full circle. It's kind of like um, dream catcher, okay? But I was like, oh, the moon, okay? So I'm like, and then somebody kept saying, looking at the moon, and I'm like, oh, it's, it's like a new moon. Like, I, I, okay. And then the moon and card kept coming out with cancer, like unknown. And then I have this thing. It is a moon. Okay. And, but I was going to put it in all you guys' videos, but, um, it, it just looks like this. It just glows with the light off. You can tell it's got like the craters. It's got, um, Ooh, it's like a nightlight, but see, it's, it's so cool in the dark. But again, the moon, and I couldn't get it to go anywhere. And then I was like, oh, if I place it here, it just looks like a crystal ball. And, I, you know, I was just like, what the frig? And then something else with the moon, okay? So it's like you don't see something coming this weekend, this week, and it, that's okay. It's not a big deal. But I think why I wanted to make these 10-minute videos is because I complicated situations or confusing or you don't see it coming, especially with the moon. It's like you really don't see it coming. You thought you saw it coming, but you don't see it coming or somebody else doesn't. And it's, it's very sudden energy. So the energy is extremely, like even I just got intense and anxiety talking about it. It's very, um, so it's not that it's cloudy or foggy or, it, it, you know, it's more, Max, no, it's more, um, I need a drink that I'm getting anxiety talking about it. I'm not, it's, as a reader, these are really hard, okay, because I feel energy and it's just off and it's not off in a bad way. It's off in a good way because it's, there's an alignment, okay, and we all fucking love alignments, all right, so... If you feel like you're watching my reads this week, um, well, if it triggers you, it triggers you. I, I wasn't really feeling triggers, okay? But if it triggers you, it's meant to trigger you. Um, but just know, as confusing as it may sound, it's, it's really not that confusing. It's just when something's being aligned and you have voids, 
in the planet in the planets and not in the planets when you have voids in astra okay like not even astra when you have voids in the solar system thank you what the actual okay um nothing i say or any reader it, the that can feel energy like me or yourselves like you i'm telling you it's, it's just it's it's not off okay just sit back and I'm not even going to say enjoy the ride because some of us good, some of us bad. I'm telling you, there's, there's energy that's shifting and, so, and it's aligning. But some people's energy is going to be like this where it's like you can't stop it. So if you get restless like that, I suggest you work out, clean the house, listen to music. Like somewhere we can feed your energy elsewhere because this is the type of energy when it comes out this week. If you don't do something with it, it's, it's going to overwhelm you. You will crash and burn. Okay. Um, but I look at it more as like, it's very action oriented energy. Okay. And that's a good thing. Um, so I hope everybody watches this, um, video before all the other reads come out. And I, I'm telling you, I'll do, I'll do Scorp next. And, um, if I still feel this way, I will take a little break and work on them later or I will get to them when I need to because this is that type of energy. I am not going to stress myself as out as a reader. Like my heart chakra and my chest feels so heavy, okay? And I'm, I just, I will not put myself through that. And, and that's not, you guys don't want me to put myself through that because it would be projected, okay? So I'm going to be smart about it. Um... They come out great. So worst comes to worst, it takes three days this week. And that's because I, I told you there's like there's voids. There's um there's voids and there's alignments. Okay. Um and sometimes the, it's just the way it is. I'm gonna pull you one of these cards real quick. And the void, don't, it's not like, oh my God, I'm being sucked in a void. It's just, it's so hard to know where you stand when something's being aligned. I really hope that makes sense. Okay. And I do love it. I, I really do um, like the energy, even though the moon is like, you don't know, but it's more of like a a surprise. But to others, it's, it's painful, it's calm, it's being wrapped up. But you're being aligned, okay, which is perfect. It's, it's you know, stuff that's faded, that type of stuff. Sorry, Max. Um, and anytime something is being aligned, it, it's just, it's a relief, okay? So, it, like I was saying, it was, see, it's like I'm, like, confused, but I'm not confused. But it's, by you listening to certain people, it can be confusing. Like, some of you are, like, scratching your head right now, like, what the actual thought? Well, yep, that's the energy, Okay. And that's why I'm doing this video for you. Um, and I didn't even feel this type of energy. I'm more just kind of like Ace of Wands, feeling the energy, you know, exercise, that type of stuff. Stay busy. Um, probably because you're already aligned. But something's coming into alignment. You're being aligned with another, with a change. Okay? So it might affect you. Oh, my God. So if you find myself repeating myself and, and losing my shit, it's, it's, it's frustrating, okay? as It's not frustrating as a reader. It's, it fucking sucks our energy out, okay? Expands your creative energies. Harness your, create, your creativity. That is that ace of wands. That's that energy. See what I'm saying? You have to harness that. Some of you, I told you, you some of you are just feeling the spark and others of you, the 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 spark will burn like does that make sense like the fire will burn if you don't stay on top of it and not in like a passionate way or you burn out too quick some of you guys' energy with this alignment is whoo, sky high and others are just like getting a tiny little spark okay so but this is also say communicate your passion which somebody might be hitting you up wanting to talk see the volcano in the background though you have to harness it you have to control the energy 
and not and be careful because when I say that you're like oh I'm in control well I think that's been the problem someone's been trying to control their energy their emotions their feelings their thoughts that's different that's arrogant trying to control a situation this is different this is exactly what I was trying to say to you guys like that's why I said jog clean listen to music walk some of you have to burn it and others of you if you don't communicate it you will burn out even quicker than the average bear Okay. Things are finally being aligned for the collective, and that is a beautiful thing. And change is difficult. But I see it happening. It's like people, the thought process, like it's there. They have to accept it. And their, that type of passion idea will burn out a lot quicker. But if that's how that rolls for that collective, then that's where you're supposed to be, and the other group will be. In a different place. It's just, it is what it is. Okay, so don't panic because I know some of you, when we get tossed into fucking voids, it's like, what the fuck? We've been there. We've talked about those. I don't think we're getting tumble dried. I saw tumbleweed. At, maybe for some people, but not a majority of us. This is, uh, this is an alignment. This is not you're being sucked into a void and you're going to deal. This is... You got to maneuver around the voids. I don't, you know, not to be like, oh, I don't want to get sucked in. For those who know voids, you know exactly clearly what I'm talking about. You're not being tossed into a void, but there are voids right now. Big patches of voids and airs and it's, it's just. So you got to harness for those who are like, doo, 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 and it could be just yapping, doo, 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 like, you know. You have to harness that type of energy. You feel like you need to run. You're going to lose your mind. Exercise. Because some, like, you have a whole group that's like, whew, on fire on a whole nother level. And other ones that are just feeling the spark. So I hope that makes sense. Okay. It's just the planets right now, whether you like it or not, are aligning. Aligning for people to be where they need to be. Good, bad, doesn't matter. You need the dark and the light. I'm just telling you what I'm experiencing as a reader. And, and this makes sense. Some people have no choice, but they're about to get real creative and they're going to communicate. And then others... Um, but this is not having a choice. This would be like feeling the energy so you're choosing that, right? But you also have a volcano, a volcano back here. So, and it's erupting. It could be sexual. To me, it's more like wiping out what no longer serves you. What belongs in the voids will go in the void. But do not avoid. Because you get sucked right into that fucking void. Whoever's been with me for a long time is dying laughing right now. I know you are. So let's just get one more. So this is the weekly, this is your little weekly forecast, okay? The black dragon cocoons you. So there's a massive, massive metamorphosis going on. And I I saw that transformation was so strong in cancer. And, and you're being protected. The high priestess, no, not the high priestess, um... Temperance keeps coming out. In one instance, it was more like Sag energy, not really like reconciliation. Another instance, I felt it as healing. So it's like when Temperance is coming out this week, it's it's taking every energy that she or he harnesses, right, and um, doing it the right way. Could be balance. It could be reconciliation. It could be healing. But I'm I'm telling you right now, I feel it's like every single quality. It's protection. It's everything. It's everything right now. Okay. New doors are opening. Expect miracles. Accept opportunities. See, it's the change. So, like I said, we'll all be put in this energy. Whether it's aggressive, whether it's less aggressive, whether it's more passion. It's, it's being harnessed in different ways. That's why I'm telling you. I'm giving you a heads up. You have to know how to harness your energy this weekend. I keep saying this weekend. Something must have happened over the weekend. 
or this weekend coming up, you know. Um, but to me, this is like the weekly forecast, right? So, I will tell you what I noticed. Some comic situations wrapping up, which is good. It's about time. It's, you know, timing, divine timing is... It's now time to be aligned. So if you someone misses an opportunity, you miss an opportunity. You get sucked into a void, you get sucked into a void. Others of you, you need to learn how to maneuver around the voids without avoiding. It's a tricky week. If you ask me, just follow what your energy feels, you know, your aura. How do you feel around certain energy? Because, yeah, it's everyone's working with energy this week. And not the average energy. The energy will be amplified for those who need to be aligned. Especially if certain things are, situ are protected and meant to come together. But then it's like you're going to have to find a way to align it too. It takes two. Baby, you can do it. Take your time. Do it right. You can do it, baby. Harness it tonight. Ooh, maybe that's like... Like, ooh, you know, I'm actually happy my head just went to the gutter. I'm not going to lie, because I needed that. And all I did was do freaking two Zodiacs today. Oh, see, I talked about it in instant panic and anxiety again. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, it's heavy, and it's not good for me. And I am, I'm protected, okay? and I protected my energy. So I'm telling you, like... And I can still feel it so strong. I'm telling you, for those who are feeling this right now, please watch your health. Please, 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 like, take that energy you're feeling, that thought, that idea, how you want to go about it. Like, stop procrastinating and trying to be so perfect and try to perfectly be strategic about your next move. Like, don't do it. Some of you will probably end up, like, like, <clears throat> Maybe going to the doctors. Like, I don't know. Like, this feeling I have that's so heavy. You can take that away by your own thoughts. This is energy of not knowing why me, how do I do this, like, for so long. This is, this is like, breakdown. Not breakdown like, um, some of you might have a mental breakdown. But breakdown like, um... Like, you just can't hack it anymore. Like, it's just vomit from the mouth, whether it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the only way to feel better. This is, you've been harnessing something within your chest, your gut. And it's your gut, which is your emotions, can't even handle it. It's, it's working its way up now, okay? So you might have indigestion. And you're being aligned. You might be have dizziness. You might have... um you know, the black spots in your eyes here and there, like don't get up too quick, definitely stay extra hydrated. Like this is definitely a week of being aware. Don't just go and take a jog and be like, yes, I'm, I'm good, I just, I need to burn the energy. Make sure you're replenishing with like a shake or like something like you have to, this is a week you have to replenish, replenish or you're fucked, okay? So there's that. So again, I apologize in advance if I keep repeating myself. That's why I said, like, I'm only going to allow myself to do what my body can handle. Okay. Um, and if anything else, you know, comes to me, then I'll come on at some point and do another video, but... It's, it's, it's nice energy, guys. It's nothing to worry about, okay? Um, so, again, if you're stressed, you, you, especially that group of the collective, you need to either act on it. To me, it's more acting on it. Fire is action-oriented. You know, it's, it's flamed. It's hot. It's energy, all right? So, it was given to you. Harness it, okay? Um... Given to everybody, every every person in this world right now is dealing with this energy. It doesn't have to be a bad thing at all. 
again, I'm repeating myself. I'm just trying to think like if I'm leaving anything out. Um, so again, if I repeat myself in the reads, I'm sorry. I, I will back off from the reads and come back to it once I can balance that energy within my own soul, mind, body, and soul. Never know. I might bang out all six today. Again, you never know. Um, but I just saw 2020. So let me look for you real quick. Spiritual meaning of 2020. But like I'm exhausted just talking to you. It's like it's take it's depleting my energy. So I, I can't stress enough to be careful. Because whether you want to be aligned in a certain situation or not, it's out of your it's out of your hands. I'm not shitting you. And even saying that stresses me out. So I would definitely figure out how to harness that in a different direction, troops. Twenty twenty encourage you to display compassion, diplomacy, consideration, adaptability as you passionately serve day to day. Take the balanced, harmonious, peaceful stance. See, it's that's temperance all day. And the passion. Yet stand strong in your own personal convictions and act accordingly. You have a great deal to achieve. You got the inner wisdom, manifestation, angels are guiding you, it's harmonious, it's compassion, balance once again. So I'm telling you, you got to try to stay optimistic here and learn how to, I mean, honestly, I don't want to confuse you again, but this is basically, I just said with the damn temperance that keeps coming out in the balance and the energy, okay, is you have to harness it. Don't let it take control of you. Um... Go after the dreams. Wonderful things are happening behind the scenes. That's cancer all day. That's where us readers are like, you can't tell it's confusing. But the tower this week is, is like, um, it's causing transformations. Okay. It's, it's not a bad thing. It's a really good thing. Okay. Um, like I said, wonderful things are happening behind the scenes that will benefit your, your life and, and right here in your near future, even though. You may not be experiencing these opportunities quite yet. Believe in it, and the bigger picture will work. Details within the details necessary to complete the picture and bringing them together. See what I'm saying? Like, you have to partake. It's very cooperative energy. That's what temperance is. Being in the young, okay? And know that you're well-blessed. So, and for some, it's the beginning of a spiritual journey. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're being aligned. And some of you, it's eternal, it's it's everlasting, it's infinity, it's oneness, it's wholeness, it's it's flow. Okay? And making a choice. And being at that point. Oh, this is everything I just freaking said to you. So, that was, um, Max, that was clarification. Why well, can't... Okay. Well, just do spiritual meaning of, you know, 2020. You know what? I'll put it in the video. Um... But basically, this last 20, 20 minutes before I saw 2020, this is exactly, this is confirmation. This is everything I just explained to you. Okay, that's extra confirmation for you guys right there. From start to beginning. You're at the beginning point. Like, you can't, you got to figure this out. This is what I'm saying. Like, it's like a universal force, guys. But it's reinforcing. It's aligning. So you have to, you have to work with that. Okay, so you might want to come back and rewatch this in the middle of the week or the end of the week. Like, man, that actually makes me feel better with everything I just said. And I, and I don't think I'm crazy by any means or like trying to confuse. You know what I'm saying? It's just I know how to work with energy and I know from experience what you were looking at before that extra confirmation even came in for you guys. Okay, so... I love you guys. I hope you have a fucking kick-ass week. And please be patient with me if uh, need be with the reads this week. Because if I feel anything like this after a read again, I will hold off. I will take a break. And if I get to it tomorrow, well, I promise you, you have them all by Wednesday. I'm hoping Tuesday as normal. But I will tell you, it took almost two hours to get through two Zodiacs and... 
even talking about it again is hurting my chest. Okay. So, um, and there's nothing I can do about it. I got to work with the energy, right? So can't stress enough to figure out how to harness what you're feeling, how to work with it this week. Yeah. You can't avoid it. Things are being aligned. Okay. So, oh, I love you guys so much.